Now, here the part 2 of chapter 2, standard 10, footprints without feet. This is the part of rescue moment and the name is the thief's story. In our part 1, we have read that how the person is there doing this with another unknown person. Anil Singh, who is of 15 years old, he comes to thief. To take the things, to stole the things from Hari Singh's home. As Hari Singh is also defined here a thief and lean person of age 25. So both are lean and thin, but even then they are described that they are the wrestlers because Hari Singh was watching the television and the wrestling movement were good. Anil signifies that if we will flatter to the person then we will make the friends easy. So they are there, Anil Singh is there to do the work, to cook the food for Hari Singh and Hari Singh is not able to pay to Anil because he is not having too much money. Only he gives the food for fee. So now the second part starts from 10th page. Anil was asleep, a beam of moonlight stepped over the balcony and fell on the bed. I set up the floor, considering the situation. If I took the money, I could catch the 1030 express to Lucknow, sleeping out of the bed. I crept up to the bed. Anil was sleeping peacefully. His face was clear and unlocked. Even I had no marks on my face, though mine were mostly scars. Here he is described how he had done, he had stolen the money and where he is wanting to go. Anil was asleep. Anil was sleeping when he was there to tuck the money under the mattress. So Hari Singh was there to see the money. A beam of moonlight stepped over the wall. Beam, the shining, shining of the, the ray of the moon. So the lining, the shining of the moon ray was there on the wall and fell on the bed. And it was glittering the bedding of Anil. I sat up on the floor. Anil Singh was there. He has prepared his mind to steal the money. So he sat down near Anil, considering the situation. He was apologizing. He was mentioning and making the situation clear that properly Anil Singh is sleeping and he can steal the money. Now he is supposing, he is thinking himself that if he will steal the money, then he will catch the train at 1030 Express, which belongs to the city line. So he is minding, he is making all the strategy and he is wanting to steal the money. Slipping out of the blanket, I grab up to the bed. Now he was sprawling. Means just like he said, he is also coming out from the blanket because his mind is to steal the money from the bed of Anil. I crept up to the bed. Anil was sleeping peacefully. His face was clear and unlined. He was not having any problem. That's why he was not having any fear on his face and the marks were not there on his face because he was sleeping in sound sleep. But I was having the marks on my face. Even in the age of 15, I was having the marks. But the marks were not any problem or any disease. It was the marks of scarcity. My hands laid under the mattress. Searching for the notes, when I found them, I drew them out without a sound. Anil sighed in his sleep and turned on his side. Towards me, I was started and quickly crawled out of the room. My hands laid under the mattress. Of which mattress? Anil Singh's mattress. Where he has put the money. So he sprawled his hand slightly and silently to keep to steal the bundle of the note. And he was searching the bundle. When he got the bundle of the note, he was happy. And he silently put in his pocket of his shirt and he was drawing from there. He was moving from there by which there will not be any situation that he will be caught. Anil sighed in his sleep. Even then Anil was sighing. He was having the deep breath and 
he was turning his body. I was started and quickly crawled out of the room. Started, I have written here the meaning. Started means he was at a very shock and he was moving from there because he has given the good faith to others that I am having the good nature. So he was having the fear also. Being the thief, he was having the fear and he was feeling not very good because he has had the trusted person. When I was on the road, I began to run. I had the notes at my waist, held there by the string of my pajamas. I slowed down to a walk and counted the notes, 600 rupees in 50s. I counted life, like an old rich Arab for a beer or two. When I was on the road, now he has stolen the money and he had randomly walked on the road. And on the road, he was started to run, due to the fear and due to the hesitation. I had the nose at my waist. He was wearing the loose pants, the pajamas, and he put the money in his waist and he took the money there. He took the bundle of notes in the pocket of pajamas near the waist. I slowed down to go. Now he was tired and he gradually slowed his speed. Counted the notes 600 rupees in 50. Means when he was far away from Anil's house. He was relaxed and he was starting to count the money. It was 600. 600 rupees were in 50s. Means all the notes were of 50 rupees and the all total money was 600. And he was saying that I can live the life like Arabs. Arab the Arabians. The person who lives in Arabs, they can live the life in the rich manner. So he is giving the example that I also can live the life through this money at least one or two weeks. When I reached the station, I did not stop at the ticket office. I had never bought a ticket in my life. But dashed straight to the platform. The Lucknow Express was just moving out. The train had still to pick up speed. And I should never be able to jump into one of the carriages. But I hesitated. For some reason I can't explain. And I lost the chance to get up. Now he has reached the station. He got the train there. It was already released. And he didn't stop the ticket train. Means he didn't bother to buy the ticket because he was a thief and so he didn't buy the ticket. So he is assuring that he was a thief and he didn't bother to buy the ticket. And then straight to the platform. At randomly he was moving from there and he was waiting for the train. The Lucknow Express, the name of the train was there through which he was there to go. The train had still to pick up the speed. Means it was as usually express. So he has taken it has taken the speed and it was usually moving. I should not have been able to jump into one of the carriages. Now the train was catching the speed, it was moving in high speed, so I was not able to move from one carriage to another because I was having the doubts to go from there without any risk. But I was hesitating. Hesitating, he was having the problem. He was scrambling. He was not clear because in his mind, in his heart, he was thinking about Anil. For some reason, I can't explain. Now he is not able to explain the reason why he is hesitating. Why he is not wanting to go. Even all the situation for clear. He has done the work which he is wanting to do. Even then, he was hesitating to go from that express train. Even in the high speed, he got down from the train. He jumped from there. When the train had gone, I found myself standing alone on the station. And it was deserted platform. I had no idea where to spend the night. I had no friends. Believing that friends were more trouble than help. And I did not want to make anyone curious by staying at one of the small hotels near the station. The only person I knew really well was the man I had loved. 
leaving the station, I walked slowly to the bajar. Now he was sit on the bench of the station. Now the train was departed. He was alone there, and it was deserted platform. Deserted means totally empty. Means the time was not secure because that time was 10:30, and the station and the platform was empty. No people were there, and he was alone to sit on the bench of the station. So this was not a good idea to leave there alone. He was thinking so many curious things through his mind, and he was thinking if I will go to the home of my friend, then he will ask so many curious questions. That from where and how I have got the money, and at that time from where I am coming from. These type of questions were mingled in his mind. So he was not thinking to go to his friend's home, and oh, and he was having the. This is on his him because he was a thief, so he was not able to go to the hotel because all the circumstances were there not to go there because the hotel persons are always asked to have the securities and they will ask the proof and identification to be lived there. So he also was not able to go to live there to stay the night in the hotels. Now the only person is there. Only the single person is there who has been robbed. That was Anil, and only in the mind of Hari Singh, Anil was robbed. That he is the only person who is having the own woman. He who is having the trust on him. Leaving the station, he walked slowly and gradually, thinking about only Hari Singh, and he was moving through the village. In my short. Career of a thief. I had made a study of men's faces. When they had lost their goods, the greedy man showed the fear. The rich man showered anger. The poor man showered acceptance. But I knew that Anil's face, when he discovered the theft, would show only a touch of sadness. Not for the loss of money, but for the loss of trust. Now all the things, all the intuitions were coming in his mind. He was thinking that. When Anil Singh will get up, then he will think that I have lost the trust. Because he has, Hari Singh has given the trust that I am the good person. Anil Singh is the good person. But when he will wake up and he will search the money, he will search the bundle of the rupees, then he will lose his heart and he will lose the trust. Now he is saying that in my short career as a thief, short career. Why you saying short career? Because only he is 15 years old. So the career was short. Means in his over 15 years life, he didn't do this type of work. He has said that I never study the faces of the men. Means I didn't believe on anyone. I didn't leave anyone's house. Or only this person is there who have sadder and who is there to give all the trust and love to. Now he is saying that the greedy man showered fear. Always the greedy man means lazy man, the person who has having the greed in his mind to achieve anything and if by force or any kind of activities. The rich man showed anger. Always whenever the rich man is there, he always shows the anger. Always they show the acceptance means whenever the poor person are having the money. Are have the money of the rich person. They are surely having the money, and they are showing the end. But the poor man show only the acceptance. They cannot do anything. They cannot show the end. Only they can accept in simple manner that oh, it's okay that they have stolen. But Hari Singh is saying that he is known the anonymous face. He is known the activity. He is. Known all the ideas or all the features of an. When he will discover that he is theft, then he will show. He will be so much upset and he will be filled of sadness. Not only for the loss of money, but the loss of trust. Now, as a thief, he has changed due to. Anil's nature, due to Anil's goodness. I found myself in the middle and sat down on a bench. 
The night was chilly. It was early November, and I liked weather added to my discomfort. Soon it was raining quite heavily. The my shirt and pajamas were stuck to my skin, and a cold wind blew the rain across my face. Now he was on the road, on the bazaar, and this time he was in the maidan, maidan the field, and sat down on a bench. He was tired. and also he was feeling that he is in sleep so he tried to sit on the bench and try to relax himself the night was chill it was chilly night the cold breeze was blowing and even it the rain was there because this time was of november and a light drizzle added to my discomfort drizzle the little bit of rain means the droppings of the rain was dropping on the face of hari singh and it was disturbing his comfort soon the rain was heavy and the shirt and the pajama means the dress of hari singh was wet and it was tied with a stick and the cold blue rain was on his face so the last page of this chapter I went back to the bazaar and sat down in the shelter of the clock tower. The clock showered midnight. I felt the notes; they were damp from the rain. Now the narrator is in the park. Park bazaar se kuch tak hua. Wo bazaar mein wapas gaya aur ek shelter ke liye. Means apni shanaan lene ke liye wo baat gaya clock tower ke niche. Clock showed midnight. क्लॉक में मिड नाइट हो रहा था मीन्स आधी रात थी लगभग बारह बज रहा था एंड ही फेल फॉर द नोट्स उसको अनुभव हुआ जो उसके पजामे के वेस्ट के अंदर कमर के अंदर नोट का बंडल बंद हुआ है वो डैम्प हो गया था मीन्स स्लाइटली वेट डैम्प स्लाइटली वेट हल्का नीले हो गए थे वो बंडल क्योंकि बारिश होने लग गई थी अनिल्स मनी इन द मॉर्निंग ही वुड प्रोबेबली हैव गिवेन मी टू और थ्री रुपीज टू गो टू द सिनेमा बट नाउ आर हैड इट ऑल I could uncook his meals, run to the bazaar, or learn to write whole sentences. And now, I'm saying that now I have money. Anil's money, which I had every morning, he gave me two or three rupees. When I went to the bazaar, I would see him for two or three rupees. I would give him two or three rupees. But now, the money is gone. I have no money. 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 बनाने के लिए मुझे सीखना पड़ेगा अब ज़्यादा जो मेहनत नहीं करनी पड़ेगी क्योंकि अब बिना ही मेहनत के मेरे पास सारे रुपये आ चुका है आई हैव फॉर वॉटिंग अबाउट डैम इन दैट सेटमेंट ऑफ द थ्रेस्ट होल सेंटेंसेस आई एम गुड वन डे ब्रिंग मी मोर देन अ फ्यू हंड्रेड रुपीज आई वॉज अ सिंपल मैटर टू स्टील एंड समटाइम जस्ट अ सिंपल टू बी कॉट बर्ड टू बी अ वेरी ब्रेग मैन अ क्लेवर एंड रिस्पेक्टेड मैन वॉज समथिंग एल्स आई शुड गो बैक टू अर आई टोल माई सेल्फ इफ Only to learn to read or write. When he was alone near the tower, near the clock tower, he was thinking. He, मैंने अनिल का पैसा चुराया है. लेकिन मैं भूल गया था कि ये सारा का सारा head for the day account है. सब कुछ भूल गया था चुराने के fear में. Means मुझे चुराना था पैसा. उसके excitement में, उसकी खुशी में, मैं ये सारी चीज़ भूल गया कि वो मुझे कितना सिखाता था. होल सेंटेंस इस पूरा सेंटेंस उसने लिखने पढ़ना सिखाया मैं जान गया एक दिन मैं ब्रिंग वन डे ब्रिंग मी मोर देन अ फ्यू हंड्रेड रुपीज अगर मैं इसी तरीके से सीख गया तो एक दिन सौ सौ से भी ज़्यादा मुझे रुपये मिल जाएंगे मीन्स एक दिन तो मैं रुपये कमा लूँगा लेकिन इट वॉज अ सिंपल मैटर टू स्टील ये तो एक साधारण सा छोटा सा चुराने की ही बात थी और समटाइम जस्ट एस ए टू बी कॉल या फिर मैं कभी कभार पकड़ भी जाता मीन्स डर रहता था कि कहीं मैं पकड़ ना जाऊँ मैं रुपये न चुराऊँ रुपये चुराऊँ और उसे उसे मैं पकड़ ना जाऊँ लेकिन ये जो मैंने काम किया एक महीने एक दिन मैंने जो काम किया कितना बड़ा इंसान था वो कितना होशियार और मेरा रेस्पेक्टेड मैन था कितना आदर करने वाला इंसान था और उससे भी ज़्यादा कुछ और लेकिन मैं ये सब चीज़ सोचता हुआ सोच रहा था कि मुझे वापस आने के पास जाना चाहिए मैंने अपने आप को कहा ये फोन भी टू लव टू मीटू कुछ और तुमको मिले नहीं मिले लेकिन तुम सीख तो रहे हो पढ़ तो रहे हो पढ़ना तो सीख रहे हो ये सब बातें सोच के वो वापस जाने के लिए सोच रहा आ हर इट बैक टू द रूम फीलिंग वेरी नर्वस फॉर इट इज मच इजियर टू स्टील समथिंग दैन टू रिटर्न इट अनडिटेक्टेड आई ओपन द रूम क्वाइटली दैन स्टूडेंट द रूम वे इन क्लाउडेड मिनट 
which I was still asleep. I grabbed the head of the bed and my hand came up with the nose. I felt his breath on my hand. I remained still for a minute. Then my hand found the edge of the mattress and slipped until it was the bed. I hurry back to the जल्दी जल्दी को वापस दोबारा घर की तरफ लौट के आता है लेकिन उस समय बहुत ज़्यादा नर्वस था क्यों क्योंकि पैसा चुराने से ज़्यादा ईजी काम नहीं है पैसा लौटाना तो और ज़्यादा मुश्किल है बजाय पैसे चुराने का और जब जब वो अनडिटेक्टेड हो मीन्स पकड़ा ना जाए डिस्कवर खोज उसकी गुना हो जाए जब वो पकड़ा ना जाए उसको खोज नहीं कर दिया जाए डर भी था कि अगर वो रुपये वापस रखेगा तो उसको पकड़ा दिया जाए लेकिन मैं गया मैं चुपचाप से दरवाजा खोलता हूँ और धीरे से खड़ा हो जाता हूँ उसके दरवाजे के पास पूरा का पूरी चांदनी रात थी बालों से भरे हुए थे एंड अनिल अभी तक सो रहा था मैं धीरे से क्रैप द हेड ऑफ द बेड में उसके बेड के सर के पास धीरे से रेन तब और जाता हूँ और अपना हाथ और नोट्स के साथ में मेट्रेस के अंदर घुसाता हूँ लेकिन उसी समय मैंने अपने हाथ पर अनिल की सांस को उसकी हवा को सेंसेशन को महसूस किया आई रिमेन इट स्टिल फॉर माई मिनट मैं एक शब्द के लिए एक मिनट के लिए वहीं पर रहा एज इट इज हिला नहीं हो सकता था उस मेरी आँख से वो उठ जाता तो यही सोचकर मैं वहाँ रहा अब मैंने देखा कि मेरे मेट्रेस के किनारे पर एकदम से मेरा हाथ चला गया है एंड स्लिप एट द रेट विच आर और मैंने अपना हाथ दोनों के साथ में उसके अंदर सर रहा दिया आई एम वो लेट नेक्स्ट मॉर्निंग टू फाइंड दैट अनिल हैड ऑलरेडी मेड द टीम ही स्ट्रेच आउट हिज हैंड टूवर्ड्स मी There was a fifty rupee note between his fingers. His heart sank. I thought I had been discovered. मैं उस सुबह देर से जाग गया. एक रीज़न था कि वो शांति की नींद सोया. दूसरा रीज़न था कि वो लेट नाइट तक जगता रहा. तो सुबह तक सोता रहा. तो वो देर तक सोता रहा. और अनिल अब मेरे लिए चाय बनाकर लाया. मैंने देखा कि अनिल मेरे लिए चाय बनाकर लेकर आया है. उसने his stretch out his hand towards me. मेरे हाथ अपना हाथ मेरी तरफ बढ़ाया. और उस हाथ के अंदर उसके फिफ्टी रुपीज़ का नोट था उंगलियों के पीछे उसने इस तरीके से फिफ्टी रुपीज़ दबा रखे थे मेरा हृदय डूबने लग गया मीन्स मैं सिंक होने लग गया घबराने लग गया और मैंने सोचा कि अब मैं पकड़ा गया मेरी चोरी पकड़ी गई आई मेड सम मनी स्टडी ही एक्सप्लेन नाउ यू विल बी पेड रेगुलर माई स्प्रिट शूज वैन आई टू द नोट आई सॉ इट वॉज टिल बैड फ्रॉम द नाइट स्ट्रीम टू डेज यू विल स्टार्ट राइटिंग सेंटेंसेज ही सेल He knew, but neither his lips nor his eyes showed anything. I smiled at Anil in my most appealing way, and the smile came by itself without any effort. अब उसने मुझे बताया कि I made some money in yesterday. Means मैंने कुछ रुपए कल कमाए थे, और अब मैं ये रुपए तो मैं दे रहा हूँ तुमको भी मैं रोज हर तरीके से रुपए दूँगा. तुमको और पैसा दिया जाएगा तुम्हारे काम के बारे में. मेरी आत्मा जा गई उठ गई एकदम से मैं शॉक हो गया और मैंने वो रुपए ले लिए जब मैंने रुपए लिए तो मुझे वो एहसास हुआ कि वो कल रात की बारिश से गीले थे गीले थे ना वो बंडल उसको गीले सबमिट करके थे रख दिए थे तो वो नोट गीला था हर तरह से समझ में आ गया फिर वो बोलता है अनिल बोलता है कि अब हम आज राइटिंग सेंटेंसेस शुरू कर देंगे जान गया था अनिल कि ये सारा किस्सा क्या है लेकिन ना ही उसके कोई शब्द ना ही आंखें मुझे ये महसूस करा पाए कि उसको कुछ पता भी चल गया मैं मुस्कुराता हूँ उसकी तरफ देखकर और उसकी तरफ मैं जाने के लिए तैयार हो जाता हूँ सेंटेंसेस सीखने के लिए फिर दोबारा से मेरे अपने आप से ही हंसी आ जाती है और मैं बिना किसी एफर्ट के ही मुस्कुराहट आ जाती है ये देख कर कि किस तरीके के इंसान ने एक चोट को बदल दिया सो दैट्स इट फॉर टूडे थैंक यू वेरी मच